Welcome to my study notebook and here we are going to talk about a very common problem that often comes that relates uh, the number of workers and tasks and how it how soon or fast it can be done. So uh, let me read out the question. It says if 16 workers can finish 14 heavy duty tasks in 21 days, how many days will it take for 48 workers to finish 20 tasks? Now, uh, in this question, there are uh, multiple things or multiple numbers, like the number of workers, uh, what, how many tasks, and how many days. So at this point, it may seem overwhelming in terms of uh, so many data is being uh, represented. But if you uh, focus on the question, uh, ultimately, they want to know how many days will it take. So while solving this type of problem, we usually uh, put the unknown variable to the right and solve it. Um, so let me show how uh, usually I start. Uh, so in this kind of um, problem, as I said, the unknown variable is at the right term. So we start with other quantities, such as 16 workers, and they can do 14 tasks in 21 days. So it's always uh, useful to um, think or calculate the same amount of work for one worker. So it's it's a matter of common sense. So if 16 worker needs um, to do some work in 21 days, if we give the same amount of task to one person, obviously it will take uh, longer days. And therefore we are going to multiply. Now similarly, let us change the number of days. So now the same person is doing the work, uh, but now we are lowering the number of tasks. So it will actually, uh, since the number of tasks has been lower, it will take lower number of days. So in this case, we're going to divide. So now let us look into the final question that how many days will it take for 48 workers to finish 20 tasks? So let us now move on to 48 workers. So since the number of uh, workers is being increased from 1 to 48, now, obviously, it will take less numbers, which means that in this case, we can uh, divide 48. And finally, for 48 workers to do 20 tasks, since uh, the number of tasks has been increased from 1 to 20, so now it will require longer amount of time. So in this case, we are going to multiply. So for uh, worker and days, if we just uh, logically think of whether it will take longer time or less time, then we can, uh, based on that, uh, we can either multiply or divide and uh, find what would be the answer. So uh, we can simply use calculator here or uh, do simple arithmetics and uh, we can find out our answers. So the answer here is 10. So the correct option would be 10 days. So this is another example of how we can solve the worker and time related maths. I hope that it helps.